Welcome, friends. We're Bob and Fran, healthy lifestyle authors and coaches. An essential key to good health is good sleep. And today we'll share our personal tips and tricks for a deep, long slumber. They work for us, and we encourage you to give them a try. And stick around to the end as we saved our favorite tidbit for last. And you might want to take notes. So, Bob, what's the first tip? Well, first tip would be to make your bedtime at about the same each night. So we personally go to bed about 10 o'clock. Now don't laugh, we're both in our 80s and we get up at six o'clock. So this works for us and it's part of our healthy daily regimen. To pee or not to pee, that is the question. <laughs> yeah. Our answer is to avoid drinking liquids after dinner. Yeah. Surely you must know why. The less we drink prior to bedtime, the less we need to pee during the night. Well said, Fred. <laughs> Another idea is to keep physically active during the day with stretching or walking or exercise. This helps us fall to sleep more easily at night. So try creating what we call a morning hour of power routine that encompasses these activities. So you could also do maybe another 20 minutes or 30 minute walk in the late afternoon as well. You will sleep like a log as long as you keep active during the day. Another idea is we go to bed at least three hours after dinner yeah. and ask you to consider doing the same. This gives the food time to digest and enables us to go to sleep faster and stay asleep longer. Yeah, It's also not a good idea to watch TV or to be on the internet for at least 30 minutes before bedtime. This can be too stimulating and you need some time to rest your eyes and your mind. The bedroom should only be used for sex yes. and for sleep. Yes. So for us, it's no work stuff, snacks, TV, computer, or tablets in our bedroom. At times, we meditate a little while before going to sleep to calm our minds and our bodies. This has led us to sleep really deep. So you might want to give that a try as well. Sometimes a warm bath before bedtime is a perfect way to unwind and relax and will help you to enjoy some really excellent sleep. And if you do have trouble falling asleep, try this a deep breathing technique while laying on your back with your eyes closed. I know this is your favorite. Love it. <laughs> Inhale through your nose to the count of two. Hold your breath for a count of four. And then exhale slowly through your mouth with pursed lips to the count of seven. Yeah. And then repeat this three more times. And if you do happen to wake up during the night, you can do this again, then it'll help you fall right back to sleep. We find it best to get out of bed if you can't sleep after 15 minutes and read for 15 minutes. No texting, no TV or any electronics, but to just lay in bed for a long period of time in agony because you can't fall asleep and you're, you're rolling around and, and it's very stressful and uncomfortable. Just get out of bed just to uh, reset yourself and then try it again. Keep your bedroom cool. Oh yeah. We set the thermostat at 65 degrees every night before we go to bed. Hi friends, just a quick break here. Bob and I are very concerned about the dangerous chemicals in our drinking water and how they can ruin our health. So for several years, we've been using this convenient and economical AquaTrue tabletop reverse osmosis system in our kitchen to transform our tap water into filtered and purified water. No installation or plumbing is needed, and the result is pure, delicious water. 
So we urge you to click on the AquaTrue link in the description below and see for yourself how this can add so much to your healthy lifestyle and longevity. Please invest in your health now. Three. We've given you a whole bunch of tips so far, but here's another one. And by the way, you just pick and choose what might work for you. But frequently we do some gentle Qigong movements specifically for sleep at bedside. This can work wonders to lower stress and tension and lead to a very deep and restful sleep. And you can check out some of these uh, Qigong videos for good sleep on our YouTube channel. By the way, we're often asked if we nap in the afternoon. This really does not work for us. So instead, we would do a little more Qigong, this time for an energy boost. And we just don't get that groggy feeling. It just sort of uh, wakes us up and keeps us going. And our favorite way to fall asleep and stay yes. asleep. This is the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Our very favorite that we both agree on. And we, we focus on things for which we are grateful, both big and small. This will get your busy or most often worried mind onto more present and appreciative thoughts. Yeah. This works to transition your nervous system from sympathetic to parasympathetic, from the fight or flight response to a peaceful and calm response. This naturally puts you into a healthy sleep mode. Try it. You will love it. We hope that you have found some of these suggestions to be helpful and that you'll give them a try. Please know that we are very grateful to you for subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you haven't done so, please do it. Please hit the notification bell as well to be alerted when we post a new video. And we look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. soon. Bye for bye now. Bye.